This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well today we're going to do a sort of unboxing video. Uh, why sort of? Well, because we're talking about software. So there's no actual box, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my new Ornatrix Maya plugin that is used to create uh, fur, hair and feathers. Okay, I'm pretty excited about it. I saw some uh, demos and previews, so and I will show you that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out their website. We're going to check out the install process and we're going to have a first look. So it's uh, definitely not going to be a tutorial. I will do tutorials later on, but for now, you're just going to look over my shoulder as I check this out for the first time. Okay, so here we go. Okay, guys, well, today we're going to do something that you might call a software unboxing video, if that is actually a thing, um, because I am going to install a new plugin for Maya and have a first look at it. Okay, so this is definitely not a tutorial. This is you looking over my shoulder and seeing stuff for the first time as I do. Okay, now what I know is that it's uh, the plugin by eFear and we're on their website. It's called uh, Ornatrix or Ornatrix, not quite sure how to pronounce that. And it's available for 3DS Max and for Maya, right? So if you go to their products, uh, here you see you got uh, Ornatrix for Max, Ornatrix for Maya or Maya. We're gonna select that. And down here you have some information. Uh, first of all, it uh, supports renderers like uh, RenderMan, V-Ray, Redshift, Arnold, and uh, Maxwell Render. And um, it's available for Linux, for Mac, and for Windows. And I know for a fact that when you buy this, you get 100 Rebus Farm render points. And that's basically uh, something like $107, right? Now, the entire plugin is 499 bucks, uh, but that said, this is highly professional. And uh, just to demonstrate that, I found a, um, a showreel uh, on YouTube, and that's this one right here by Yoon Young Sung, and hopefully I pronounce that correctly. And we'll just have a look because this is pretty amazing. Okay, so hang on. No. guys was that amazing or what i will put a link to this uh, video in the description a uh, great job by uh, yun young and uh, this pretty much shows you that it's a very professional and b you can do uh, hair fur and feathers in uh, onatrix okay 
So that said, it's time to uh, download the, the software and get it installed and see what we got, okay? So we are back on the website. Uh, I'm gonna go to downloads and uh, let's see, make sure that I got the, um, yeah, the Maya version, that's right. I'm not gonna go with the demo version. I'm gonna go with the full license here and I'm just gonna click on my 64 bit and hit save. We'll just give that a sec. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, we're gonna open up the folder and there it is. And it looks like I did an additional download, but that's fine. I'll just get rid of one of them. Come on. All right, and I'm just gonna right click and go to install and here we go. So let's see, it's calculating, it looks like. There we go, we're gonna hit next. Accept the user agreement, hit next. I'm just gonna go and install this on my my 2017. So I don't want the 15, I don't want the 16, I just want it for 17. So that's good and that one will be on my hard drive, all right. Just gonna hit next and we're gonna hit install. And depending on how long this takes, I might speed up the video, but we'll see. Okay guys, so the uh, install finished okay, uh, despite the delay caused by my antivirus uh, software, but that's fine. And uh, now it's time to uh, check out Maya and see whether our plugin has been installed correctly. And uh, let's uh, check out the interface, okay? So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Windows and we're gonna go to Settings Preferences and uh, Plugin Manager. And get rid of that. And we're gonna look for our Onatrix plugin that should be in here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Quite a few going on here. Let's go up a little bit. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Uh, there we go. Okay, so the Onatrix.mll uh, loaded and auto load selected. So it will automatically go away. It will automatically um, update. Good, good. So we're gonna close that. So this means that we now should have a menu somewhere. So we're gonna go up here and here it is. At the end, we have the Onatrix uh, menu button and we got all this stuff going on here, okay? So let's just uh, check out to see what it is. So we're gonna start at the first one here and uh, let's see, add hair to selection. So I assume that if we create a polygon uh, object or select a part of a polygon object that we can apply hair, fur, or feathers to that selection. So we'll check that out in a bit. And here we have generate groom from selection. So we have all sorts of grooming tools, etc., that we can work with. Let's see what we got here. Add mesh from strands. We got add curves from strands. Add hair from guides. Add edit guides. We got, uh, let's see, what's this? Add render settings, uh, ground strands, frizz, that's pretty cool. Curls, uh, hair clusters, uh, guide cluster, change the length of the hair or fur, change details. We got a uh, comb on the surface. Uh, let's see, guides from guide mesh and so forth. So it looks like all of this is basically grooming and this is where we initiate or create the initial uh, hair for and so forth. So let's go to our polygon menu. I'm just gonna take a simple polygon sphere and let's say that that's the head of a character, whatever. And then we'll go into our own tricks menu and let's just click on this button and see what happens, okay? Right, so let's see, we got a feather option and a fur ball option. So let's uh, check that one and we'll hit create and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like I need to zoom out and we got a kind of a fuzzy ball thing going on here. Let's just uh, check that, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Okay, and uh, then we have a couple of options in the menu right here, okay? So apparently, based on the settings that we have here, we can go into our attribute editor, and I'll hit Control A to do that. And we'll just go through the various options that we have at this end to see what will happen at this end, okay? So let's see, we got um, uh, count, view count, and so forth. And I just don't want to go into all of this right now. Like I said, it's not a tutorial. It's just a first glance, okay? And I'm not going to start talking about stuff that I haven't checked out yet. Okay, but this is basically how it's working. Uh, based on the setup here, there are all sorts of tweaks that you can do in your attribute editor as expected, okay? And one thing that we will do is we'll just take this guy and we'll do a quick render just to show you how easy that is because I saw that in a demo. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use RenderMan for that. So right here, I'm going to go in and create some light. So I'm just going to right click on this guy and we'll do a uh, environmental daylight. Why not? And then we'll just jump in and simply make sure that we're in RenderMan first. Yep. We're simply going to hit that IPR button and let's see whether this will render in RenderMan as promised. And uh, I'm quite sure it will. Just give that IPR a sec. All right, there it is. Okay, and we'll just resize that a little bit. So you can see that's rendering. We'll just uh, tweak that light setting here. Let's do a uh, dome light instead. And as you can see, it responds immediately, okay? So uh, I will certainly be doing uh, tutorials on this in the near future, uh, but just wanted to share my first look on this with you guys. Uh, please let me know if you enjoy this type of video and whether there are other types of software that you want me to check out for you, okay? So uh, that said, that's all there's to it for this one. If you've got any questions, let me know. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.